hello and welcome 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 to yolanda's daily bread how are you on this victorious day so what i want to say to you today is this put your mouth on it did you hear what i said put your mouth on it what does that mean? That means for you to put your mouth on any and everything that's bringing you discomfort, anything that's coming up against what you know about yourself and what it is that God has promised you for your life and for your family's life. You know, when I say put your mouth on it, I mean, where's the word of God? You know that you give voice to the word of God in this earth, right? So because he has put his glory inside of you and you carry the glory, you carry those words in you, you have the power and authority to remove every sickness and disease. And you do understand that if you're not joyful and happy every single day, then that means that something is wrong and there lies a dis-ease, okay, a sickness because this is not God's best for you, okay? What God has for you will come to pass, but you have to put your mouth on it. You have to bring down those strongholds in your life. Do you understand that when... When he says in the word that you have power and authority to bring every thought and imagination down. Okay, so what you can do, how could I say this? Say that a thought pops up, right? Now, that thought pops up. And if you don't speak the word of God to that thought, because random thoughts happen. So when that thought shows up, you have to speak the word of God to it. Okay. And if you don't, then it turns into a belief system because it's not going to come around just once. You know that. Think about this. It'd be the same scenario over and over and over again. Why? Because it wants to become a stronghold. And now it being a stronghold is a belief system and is a belief system. A stronghold is a belief system based on a lie. So what you want to do is as soon as that thought comes in, you cast it down. And how do you cast it down? By putting your mouth on it. How do you put your mouth on it? By speaking the word of God. That's a key. You have the keys of the kingdom, but here's the thing. Here's the real thing. You can have the keys all day. But if you don't know how to use those keys, you'll just have them dangling all day in your pocket, not being used. And then you are being, you are being dragged down into a realm that you have no business being in because you're much stronger than that. You're way more powerful than that. So what I'm going to say to you now is put your mouth on it. You give voice to the word of God in this earth. And I want you to join me because you know what? I could say that. I could say that, right? But there's so many of us that cannot think that quick. And I'm not saying you can't think that quick, but it's so many of us that when that thought pops up, we're not thinking about putting the word of God on it. Mm -mm. we let the thought bypass us. I know I'm that person. I promise you, I don't capture every thought. Some of them slide by and come back around again, slide by, come back around again. But I will say this before I got to this space, this stage in my life, I was looking for a masterclass that could help me to understand how to use the keys of the kingdom. That's what I was looking for. And it doesn't, well, it didn't exist until now because that's what I created. I created a masterclass and it starts Thursday for six weeks. And I want you to join me. It's six weeks. It's a masterclass. And what it is, is self-mastery. 
through the word of God. It teaches us how to use the proper keys. So that way we can gain control over our circumstance and situation. God doesn't want you to sit here and say, oh, you know what? Um, God's going to take care of that. No, 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 no. He said the heaven belongs to him and the earth belongs to him and you. Okay? You, me. And if we don't like what's happening, we are supposed to use those keys to get a hold of it to stop what we don't like because at the end of the day we are supposed to leave this earth better than how we found it okay and i want you to do that i don't want 2024 to not be a time where now things in your life have changed, where now you understand, you have clarity, you have revelation of those keys that have been freely given to you. You don't want to continue to live in a mansion in a, in, inside of a small room when he said to you, you can have the entire mansion and all of the acres okay so look at the link hit the link in the bio and um i'm tired <laughs> hit the link in the bio and um register okay register for the master class it's time it is time to see something different in your life and the only way anything can be different in your life is if you do something different. So now it's time to invest. Invest in yourself. All right? Okay, so remember, you are a unique individual and you have purpose. There is a need that only you can fulfill. Today, allow your dreams to be bigger than your fears, your actions louder than your words, and your faith stronger than your feelings. Why settle for no when yes is available? Later.